Pendemium villages are the heart of Hima Nongklaus Imship, a kingdom where our great freedom fighter Utirat Singh's Im was one of its rulers. St. Thomas Complex lies at the foothill of two famous hillocks, Olum Maralong and Lum Tep Hati, where the Catholics have erected a cross on top and renovated, renamed it as Ulum Calvary. Before 1972, the life of the people of Mairang proper was difficult. There were few educated men and women. There were very few schools in the area. The only school in the village was a school read a village LP school of Pendemion. Another school nearby was Mairang Christian High School, Mairang Mission, and it was the only high school in the Hima Nongklao Siemship. In such a condition, thanks to late Father Carmelo Atat, SDB, the parish priest of Marbisu, at the time Mairang was under Marbisu Parish, who brought a bought a plot of land at Pendemion to open a school. On 2nd February 1972, two young, vibrant priests were welcomed in Mairam mission, namely late Father Alvinus Yafanio as parish priest and late Var Father Varki Chitur as assistant parish priest. They were appointed by Archbishop Hubert de Rosario, SDV, to work in this newly erected parish named as St. Thomas the Apostle Parish Myra. They served the people with great love and dedication. Their work had great impact in the lives of the people. They did it because they genuinely loved the people. These missionaries traveled the length and breadth of Hima Katsapra. We are grateful to them for the service they lovingly offered to God and his people facing challenges of various kinds. They left a legacy of social welfare works which include the many schools they opened in this area. St. Thomas School was born on 15 February 1972. It was the hard work of these missionaries, their prayers and sacrifices that has blessed the school over the years. Their names will be written in golden letters in the history of St. Thomas Harris Secondary School, Myra. With the establishment of the school, the following personalities were the pioneers of St. Thomas Harris Secondary School. The founding managing committee members were President and Chairman, Late Father Albinus Yafanyu, Secretary and Headmaster, Late Father Varki Chetur, Members, Sri Ordal Linkhoi, Sri Carlos E. Kurba, and Sri Dor Shrimati Dorothy Karmoti. The first group of teachers were Sri Carlos E. Kurba, Sri Brixius Marwen, and Srimati Rosa Mystica Mairo. In the first batch, class four, there were only eight students. In the academic record of the school, it was found that these eight students were the first batch to write the matriculation examination in 1979. These students appeared as regular candidates and the center of examination was at St. Paul's High School, Marbisu. In February 1973, the government had granted the permission for the opening of ME School, Kasi Section. Late Father Albinus Yafanyo was the pioneering headmaster and Sister Pushpa George as assistant headmistress. Eight students got enrolled and one teacher from the local popula population was appointed. As years rolled on, the diocesan priests with rich experience in the field of education felt the need of starting English section for Christian students and others in general. The idea took concrete shape in 1977 when English section was opened with class KG 
Initially, the school fee was 30 rupees only. The first batch of the English section students appeared for the SSLC examination in 1988, consisted of 17 students. Under the recommendation of the Inspector of Schools, East Cassie in January 1979, classes 7 and 8 were recognized as St. Thomas Proceeding High School. Subject to regulations by the Meghalaya Board of School Education, MBOS, St. Thomas ME School was permitted to open class 9 and 10 in 1981. In the following year, in 1982, it received provisional recognition in which Students were permitted to appear SLC examination as regular candidates in Myrang. Myrang Presbyterian School was selected as the center of examination, which is in close proximity to St. Thomas Higher Secondary School. In, 19, in 2013, the school was made the center of SSLC examination by MBOS. For about 12 years, the school really struggled to maintain itself. In 1984, under the recommendation of the inspector of schools, St. Thomas ME School and High School was amalgamated and hence attained deficit status with 18 deficit posts. As of now, the school is awarded with 21 teaching posts and three non-teaching posts under deficit grant. Being a full-bloomed high school, the enrollment in the school increased and the percentage of the students passing the board examination improved. At present, in 2022, there are 1,789 students enrolled. In order to cope up with the rising demand of modern age of information technology, the school started computer, computer education as a subject in 1994. Two teachers were appointed for teaching computer and were paid by the management. In 1996, the school opted for 10 plus 2 higher secondary arts stream under MBOS. Class 11 arts were, was started in June 1997. The first batch of students took admission on 6th August 1997. Late father Cornelius Kriam was the principal and sister Rina Marbanyang the vice principal. Five students who had just passed SSLC from St. Thomas High School got enrolled, two girls and three boys. These students appeared in S. HSLC examination in 1998 and the result was 100%. In the same year, high, high secondary school was upgraded to deficit status with five sanctioned posts. The then principal late father Cornelius Kriam was the education teacher. In January 2003, class 1 to class 4, Khasi Day section came under Sarva Seva Sarva Siksha Abhiyan, SSA. Two teachers were appointed under SSA ad hoc grant. The school is able to offer a rich variety of facilities to its students, both in curricular and co curricular activities. Co curricular activities include sports, school week, and field trips, picnics. Students take part take active part in the debate, quiz, singing, dancing, drawing, painting, cultural and science program in the district, state and national level. Over the years, the school had a good record of a number of toppers in the SSLC examination, namely Ignatius Rantatiang secured seventh position from tribal list in 1999. Pavel Burman, first position in top 10 merit list in 2001. The twin brothers, Noel Pendap Lindo Mauklang, eighth position in the tribal list, and Pen Biang Lang Lindo Mauklang, 10th position in the tribal list in the same year 
in 2010. Mait Maithan Nati Rani secured 13th position among the top 20 in 2012. Banting Shan Lindo Anongri, 19th position in 2019. Shubhankit Kumar, 16th position in the top 20 in 2020. And in the year 2001, Kevin Strong, Claudine Young, ranked first. And Queen Annabelle and Basai Moy ranked 10th in the top 20 merit list. Once established, the school recorded a slow but steady growth of pupils over the first decade. As the years rolled on, the school expanded physically, the campus was enlarged, new buildings were erected, the present extens extensive and attractive building is a living witness to this growth over the years. Now, we are grateful to late Kiddors M. MLA for his great support to the school it was his sincere effort that in the year 1984, the school was brought into deficit system and in 1997 upgraded to higher secondary. His name will be mentioned in the history of the St. Thomas High Secondary School. Sri Rasul Rani, former MLA MDC, Sri Balnes Lindo Anangom, former MLA MDC, for their support to the school. I thank Speaker, Legislative Assembly, Shri Metba Lindo for his contribution for the construction of toilet, for the construction of podium at the playground, renovation of the school gate and purchase of traditional musical instruments for the learning purpose of the students amounting 10 lakhs. I thank Sir Sri Equator Nongrang, former MDC, for the contribution amounting 3 lakhs for the construction of school toilet. I thank Sri Bhats Kem Rentatiyang MDC, contributing for the construction of additional classrooms still under construction, rupees amounting 22 lakhs. The first phase has been, the work order has been given of 7 lakhs. I thank Shri, I thank Dr. Mukul Sangma, leader of the opposition, supported for the renovation of the basketball court and construction of science laboratory and the purchase of equipment amounting rupees 28 lakhs. I thank MP Lok Sabha Shri Vincent H. Pala for his contribution amounting rupees 25 lakhs for the construction of multi-purpose hall at St. Thomas. Sir, we are grateful to, to you, Sir, Sri Konrad Sangma, Honorable Chief Minister, for your generous contribution for the construction of gallery at St. Thomas Football Ground and amounting and rupees amounting 10 lakhs. Sir, all work, no play, make Jai a dull boy, says Robert. We wouldn't want our students to be dull boys and girls. St. Thomas is an active participant, participant of the sports and games in the district, winning best athlete awards for the district. We want our students to be at par with other students in the cities. We want them to be the best in every field. This year, Lamang Karpang Lindo Amonai from our school is the top 60 winner of National Inspire Manak and soon will be taking part in the International Iris Fair for his innovative idea, Shoe Come Slipper. Sir, the school needs your support for the completion of the gallery at the football ground. We believe you will do the needful. I'm grateful to all the past people for the contribution of two smart classrooms and Shrimati Madonna Langsti for another two classrooms in the secondary level, which will be upgraded to the smart classroom in the next academic year. 
We are grateful to all the benefactors and well-wishers of St. Thomas Higher Secondary School who accompanied us in difficult times, supporting emotionally, ethically, and financially. We ask for God's blessings upon each one of you. We guarantee that the next few hours will be delightful and memorable. Thank you for patiently listening to the history of the school. Enjoy your day.